If you own a GE refrigerator, there's a good chance you've heard this sound before. Possibly you're hearing it right now. That's the sound of ice buildup hitting the evaporator fan. And when that happens, you get that buzzing sound. Now, in, in this particular refrigerator, it happens mostly when the fan goes on high. And you can silence it temporarily by telling the refrigerator, you don't want it that cold. You just raise the temperature. And then it stays quiet for a while, but you still have the problem that there's a lot of ice built up inside. Now you can melt it yourself if you're careful with a hair dryer, or I prefer to use a handy hand heat gun. They're both the same, this is just a little bit faster. Now you may be asking yourself, why is there built up of ice? Isn't this supposed to be a frost free refrigerator? Well, yes, it is labeled frost free. But apparently GE thinks that means frost is included at no extra charge. And they include a lot of frost at no extra charge. There's frost on everything. But it's the frost inside here that's going to cause you trouble. We're going to get that out right now. Now if you call an independent technician and say your freezer fan is making a horrendous noise, they'll come out and replace it for you. And that will solve the problem for about a week two weeks, maybe a month, until that ice, till the ice builds up on that fan. It's not the fan bearings, even though it sounds like the fan bearings. It's the ice on the fan and inside the fan that's causing this noise. So, we need to get rid of it. First thing to do, get rid of much of your stuff as you can. This is all ice here. If you have that, then you have problems inside that you can't see. That's undefrosted ice, part of the GE bonus plan. Again, you could use a hair dryer. You can use this uh, hot air blower. Be careful, you can melt the plastic if you're not careful. Just keep it moving. Oh, it's a good idea to turn off the refrigerator. Now, if you don't have a lot of frozen food that you need to keep frozen, you can just simply unplug your refrigerator and go on vacation. Or go to the movies for the day. There's ice actually hardened inside these vents. Once uh, you've warmed everything up and all the ice is gone, uh, you can then plug in your fridge and see if it works. It hasn't kicked on to high yet. Also, if you're uh, in a hurry, you can pull screws from here, through here, here, take those screws out, this comes off, this whole tower comes off as well. That can speed things up. Uh, you can also remove the back panel. There's a screw here, over there, uh, and that'll just come off as well. But I, I find just using the blow dryer where the heat gun works just fine. All right, now we're on high speed, and it's quiet the way it's supposed to be. So. I live in Los Angeles, which is not very humid, so I need to do this about every six months, I, I guess. Uh, in Florida, it happens a lot. In fact, there was a class action suit, which GE settled very quietly. Unfortunately, we're stuck. Uh, the design hasn't changed, but do your research before you buy. Learn my lesson.